Well, hey everyone, what's going on? I am Brian, and for the first time in the history of ever, I received something sooner than what they told me I was gonna get. So as you can see right here, I finally got my Lear uh, capper put on and they quoted me 10 to 12 weeks and I got it in four weeks. I got it put on yesterday. We got some nice weather today. So I was gonna take you guys around to show you exactly what this topper is. Give you a few uh, measurements inside, kind of give you some idea of the headroom that I got. Maybe you can tell I got the 180XR and that's got a four inch rise on the roof to give you a little bit more headroom inside. So let me just take you around, show you what it's all about and uh, give you an idea of what a Lear 180XR actually looks like. So here we go. Okay, so again, the Lear 180XR, and it is the 180 because of this slight incline in the roof. It's a, it's a four inch incline. It's gonna give you, uh, they claim 15% more, you know, room, interior room inside, but um, it's got the tinted windows. It's got the sliding windows on both sides. And I did get the roof racks installed and if you guys know of any tips or tricks or good manufacturers to purchase the cross rails from, please comment, let me know, because um, honestly, I didn't realize all that went into just getting crossbars for these rails. I'm talking to the guy at the truck shop yesterday, um, it was gonna be like five or 600 bucks. Now granted, I think it was the Thule brand and you know, they're Swedish and probably crazy expensive but there was like 15 different add-ons that i had to buy just in order to get the cross rails so if you guys know of any better options than Thule or what i need to buy um i'm kind of still researching that but i didn't know it was going to be that uh in depth just to get a couple of crossbars put on but i've got the tracks ready for it i just don't know i really don't have a clue what to use for the actual crossbars but anyway so and here's the the back and then Lear is not paying me to um advertise for them unfortunately so i'm going to try to find a way to get that ugly sign off the back um it does come with a third led brake light already hooked up and again just sliding tinted windows so overall i'm really i'm really kind of impressed with this it, it totally changes the look of this truck, obviously, um, but I do like it. But now I can get started building out the inside of this thing so I can make it even more useful. But just one more quick look around of the outside, and then I'll take you guys inside and show you what we're working with. And another thing, if you guys know of an easy way to get these stickers off i'm sure it's just some kind of adhesive and i might just put up, have to put a little bit of a heat gun to it kind of loosen up that adhesive and maybe put some dental floss behind it and kind of cut it off that way is what i'm hoping is going to work but i just don't like labels like that i think they're kind of tacky but anyway let me show you oh and these, these do have the the double corner locks on each side so this model doesn't have the center turn obviously so it's got a latch on that side and a latch on that side same key but um so let me get this thing opened up and show you guys what it looks like inside okay so here's the inside of it uh, you, I, I went ahead and already put my little bed platform back there but um let me show you guys something, because this was something that I was really curious in. I'm gonna measure from the floor to the top of the ceiling and let you guys know exactly how much room we got. So, we're looking at three feet, 10 inches from the floor up to the ceiling. Okay, so let's crawl up in here and try to get a closer look at some of these things inside the camper. One thing I do like about the Lear is that they use these J bolts instead of the big clamps that go over the edge of the ledge. Um, I think that just makes it a lot cleaner install than using the, those those older style clamps. So I like the way that, that Lear decides 
to do that. And then up here, hopefully you can see that there are screens, a mesh screen covering this window. And this is a sliding window. So you just pop this little latch and the screen slides all the way to the front, leaving you this whole open area. Close that back. <clears throat> Moving around here to the front glass. Um, it's pretty important, I think, that you guys, if you're gonna get one of these, make sure that the, the glass on the back can actually be removed because there is no way to get to your actual truck window and clean it. And I didn't think about that. Luckily, I, I went ahead and ordered this, this style, but there's no way to clean the back of your actual truck glass if you can't get this removed. So, and this actual window does have a sliding center section as well. So this, this will slide all the way over and to lock it in, you just pull, push these tabs up into the channel of the window. And now that's locked in. So nothing much different on this side of the window. You know, you still got the same latch to slide it, slide it in and out. And moving along here to the back, uh, we've actually got a little LED interior light that uh, I probably won't use that much because it is push button and I'm gonna have lighting that's gonna go along all of these edges and along the front up here in the back but this is here and then here you've got your control panel for your brake lights for your led brake light up top and they just tapped it into my brake lights uh, underneath in the back but it's a pretty clean install so if you do ever want to remove this camper shell all you do is unplug this pigtail here and take it out and you can you know take your camper shell off and not worry about all the wiring but other than that, it's a pretty good looking unit here inside. And again, we're almost at four feet from the, the ground up to the to the roof. So I got plenty of headspace. And then over here is where I'm gonna build the, the drawers and the little cabinet area that I'm gonna put my, um, my battery power box and some drawers and, some, and a switch panel to run some of the interior lights and um, just some few other things that I that I have an idea of what I want to do in here, but this over here is going to kind of be my my storage area, along with with inside the bed. So, inside the bed, we're going to have all of this storage as well. So, it should come in come in pretty handy. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the camper. Uh, the quality seems real nice, and we'll see how it how it works on the first trip, but. As of right now, I'm pretty happy with it. So anyway, guys, that is the Lear 180 XR. You guys take care.